Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Jen and Sharon. Good morning, Sharon. Hi, everybody. So last week, the sun was on Sharon's face and it was totally washing you out. Now, even though it's not that sunny today, I'm having the same problem. So hold on a second. I must adjust. This have is you, horrible. Have you guys, our viewers, seen that Rate My Skype room? I think it's just a Twitter account. But when people go on TV, especially during the pandemic, mm -hmm. this Rate My Skype room, Skype room account would get on and tell people what they were doing right or wrong, like move the picture or, or you know, get some artwork or raise the camera or whatever it might my be. My favorite so. is minor chord violation. You get a deduction for that if you have like chords showing in the background. Oh, really? Does yeah. this count? Um, yeah, that would probably count as a minor chord violation, but, maybe, but the rest of your setup is perfect. So they oh, would probably you. give you, they give you a nine out of 10, I bet. These so. are the, um, these are the, the little uh, tropical plants from my front steps that had to be brought in for the winter. Yeah, so. we've it's turned that corner where things, the frost is on the pumpkin, quite literally. My pumpkin is looking pretty gross. It needs to go to the curb. I'm going to kick it to the curb today, I think. Yes, yes. So, well, it must, of, be, it must be almost Thanksgiving then. Exactly. So we started thinking about what, what were we going to talk about today? And I said, well, you know, a lot of people are going to be traveling for Thanksgiving. You know, the whole planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, great movie, by the way. Great movie and great Thanksgiving costume, movie. So. Yes, one of a few, but that's really probably the gold standard would be my guess. Um, so we started talking about like what are some some good tips to um, to keep your sanity if you're traveling over Thanksgiving or any holiday, really any time with teens. Um, you know, and for my purposes, my tips are really meant to be for road trips because that's pretty much all we yeah. ever do as a family. If you're if you're flying with your with your family this holiday, I mean, God be with you because I just think things are have been crazy in that regard. I'm not sure. I don't know that I have any advice for the people mm -hmm. flying. Mm -hmm. That's going to be like the only thing I can think is hopefully you'll get there faster, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but so I actually did create a list. Sharon, I did some homework. I haven't done a list in a long time. I've got Yay, a Sharon has a list. <laughs> <laughs> We're going old school today, folks. So I'll start and then I'll yes. we'll, we'll trade them back and forth. How about that? Okay. All right. So number one on my list of things that I've we've discovered makes traveling so much better. So, so much better. This is gold. Are you going to lean in? Lean in for the nugget. As Tina what is it? says on Oldie Murders in the Building, lean in for the nugget. Um, pillows. I highly, highly, highly recommend that everyone in the family bring their own pillows on your trip if you can at all squish them into the car. First of all, it's comfy in the car if you have a pillow to lean on. Mm. You can put a little space between maybe the, the teens in the back seat. Uh, who a buffer go. zone, if you will. Buffer zone, always good to have, we call it the DMZ, but you know, buffer <laughs> zone works too. But the really, the really crucial reason is people sleep so much better. When you're, when you're traveling to grandma's house or staying in the hotel or wherever you're going, the one thing you can't bring your own bed, but you can bring your own pillow and you will sleep so much better. And sleep is the number one cause. Did you know this? Of wanting to kill your children. <laughs> It lack is. of sleep, right? <laughs> yes, it is the lack of sleep. And also the number one cause of them wanting to kill each other and to, um, wanting to kill you. So as far as a magic bullet goes, the pillow is the number one tip I have for helping everybody get a better night's sleep so that you can all get along when you go to grandma's house. <laughs> and and while we're at it, I did not put this on my list, but I use an eye mask to keep to be in the total dark when I'm sleeping. And that it's sad when I forget it on a trip. Oh, oh, yeah, that reminds me of another really fantastic tip that I learned when I was traveling before kids even, which is the binder clip. If you're staying in a hotel room, you know how the curtains never close all the way and you get that bright light that just keeps you awake all night. A couple binder clips, clip those curtains closed. You are good to go. I like it super dark when I sleep. And that's yes, just hard I did to too. recreate. So you know what? At somebody's house, if they have curtains that don't quite close, you could use Okay. Them. And this also works, well, maybe in a house, but definitely in a hotel. If you forgot your binder clip, I saw a tip that you can use like one of those skirt hangers. You know how in a oh, hotel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, usually in the hotel closet, they 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 put give you a little plastic bag for laundry, which, you know. Who's but it's usually clipped in with uh, like a skirt hanger or pant hanger. 
um, thing. So you could use that to close the curtains too. Okay. I like that. That's, I like all these tips. So I'm all about the practical. So um, what's, what's tops on your list? Okay. So one thing that we have done, and this isn't specific to teens, but it's still helpful is that if we, sometimes we leave after school and go halfway on yes, a trip. Have done we, that. What we're, when we're traveling, it, it's usually to the East coast, which from here in Ohio takes us most of the day. It's like mm -hmm. seven and a half hours maybe eight if you're taking a lot of time. Thanks, so Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's all in Pennsylvania. <laughs> that state is too damn big. Tell us in the comments how far you're going to travel, how many <laughs> hours you're, you're going to be traveling. Where you're going, but, getting there. But anyway, if we're not, sometimes we, we want to get there quicker. Uh, we don't want to spend the whole s uh, Saturday or whatever driving. So we want to leave after school on Friday or whatever it might be. So we go halfway. And that means staying in a hotel, which means unpacking the whole car. No. Mm -hmm. One duffel bag that has one night stuff for everybody. Everybody has their own suitcases for the whole rest of the visit. But for that one night where that's the only thing we're pulling out, it has shampoo for everyone. It has one set of clothes and it's makes the day so much easier because I can't stand the idea of having to unpack the whole car and then repack it for one night on the way there. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. And by the way, if you remember when you had, if you ever did have to do plane travel with infants, same thing. You had to bring a separate bag of a whole change of clothes because guaranteed they were going to throw up on you on the plane. Oh, Not absolutely. That never happened to me, but no, never me <laughs> I that lesson the hard way. <laughs> um, that's, I love that. Yes. Pack, pack the a go bag or whatever you want to call that mm -hmm. for the, for the hotel. Um, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I would like extra credit for this assignment because all of my items start with the letter P. What? Alliteration. I know. And you didn't know that was part of the assignment. Uh, I now I have to fix mine. Mine would be a, a packed go bag. Packed. Okay. Let's see. I, let's see if we can keep it going. My second item on my list is a particular podcast that I'm going to recommend. Mm -hmm. My brother told me about this podcast when he and I were traveling somewhere recently together. It was sort of funny. Like, you know, we haven't traveled in a car together since we were the teenagers bickering in the backseat. So much more enjoyable to, to travel with one another as adults. Um, but he recommended a podcast that I think is really fun because it is small or short chunks of entertainment. So, and on many, many topics. So you don't have to try to find one thing that everybody likes. You can just listen to a bunch and there'll be something for everybody. So this podcast is called How to Do Everything. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe it's still, I don't believe they're still producing new ones, but there are so many old ones that you can keep this going for, you know, days and days and days if you want. Um, to These two guys, they take callers questions about how to do things and they're usually kind of silly things. And then they, but they take a deep dive on it and they interview an expert on that subject. So it might be like, how should I blow my nose? Well, we talked oh. to this guy who knows everything about noses and how, what, why you're doing it wrong. So, and they, they usually are kind of, they're silly, but there is actually good, useful information in there somewhere. This would give um, you a lot to chat about when you get to see your relatives too. Exactly. Cool. You Small can tell talk. them. Yes. Everything you learned, a little table talk. Exactly. That's the art of the good cocktail party, right? You need to have yeah. a couple of little interesting factoids you can share. This will give them things to talk about. When grandma says, how are things at school? They can quickly turn the tables and say, eh, it's fine. Hey, but did you know <laughs> you've been blowing your nose the wrong way for 48 years or whatever? So yeah. I, while you're speaking of podcasts, uh, one that we have enjoyed for a while in the car is Ask Me Another. It, oh, that's it's a good a, one. It's an NPR quiz show. It's, it's silly. There's like, song parodies and it's sometimes like pop culture it's sometimes like more serious stuff but mm -hmm. we found that everybody in the family enjoys it i mean under 10 it's a little they might not get it or be able to keep up as well but mm -hmm. definitely for the tween and up crowd um it's fun and quick and witty that's a good so. one excellent yeah i think the key to that is it has to be fast paced you mm -hmm. know if it's too long or too involved Everybody loses interest. So it's it's helpful to have something that's just a sort of a grab bag of different things. So if you didn't like this one, you know, 15 minutes of your time, 
then there'll be a new one coming along. So yeah, we haven't done a book on on us. Uh, I almost said tape uh, on CD or yes. <laughs> download for a long time. So if people have uh, recommendations for podcasts or or audiobooks, I would love to hear those too. That are appealing to everybody in yes. the car. Always good to have those. We we need to do well let's do another download session on that at some point. We did a roundup of those not so long ago and it's time for another. So okay. All right, what's next on your list? Okay. So this is um games. So if our family likes to play games when we get together and there are games at in our case at the grandparents' house, which is great because there's a lot of games we like to play and there's some that we don't have. But if you think that at your relative's house, your kids are going to be like on the screen the whole time because they feel like there's nothing fun to do and you want to engage them with their grandparents, maybe bring a game from home or even get a new one for $15 that they would find fun to play. Like uh, we were just playing the other day, this one called Poetry for Neanderthals. And you can only give one sentence, no, one syllable clues for the word on the card. So you're like oh, a big house thing, you know, on top. And that would be like roof or something. Um, Love it. So, you know, whatever, whatever you think your kids might Make enjoy that you can do as a bonding experience when you get there. And the other thing I would add is that I always carry a deck of cards um, in my bag when we're traveling. Because you're a hustler and you're looking at, you're a card shark. I know it. Yeah, it's all about the poker. Again, I must remind you all she's from Jersey. Just be uh, <laughs> Well, what we like is called phase 10 and it's pretty simple. Uh, it, it's just, it's a, it, you have to get a series of combinations of these cards. It's, it's not a regular card deck. It's a, phase 10. But when, whenever we're on a trip, it's something I can have in my bag. And if we're waiting for a meal at a restaurant or something, everybody seems to, to, to agree to it. So oh, I, I can't argue with that, you know, and we might be at home and they're like bouncing off the walls at the meal. But if we're in the restaurant and we're have the cards out, they all are sociable and pay attention. So oh, wait, let me clarify. Is this a special card deck you need to get like Uno or you can play this yes, game? It is, regular? It's okay. very much like Uno. It's the same size card deck. Um, okay. And it, it would be right next to Uno in Target or wherever. Okay. So, By the way, I want to point out that you have so far played into the P theme because you have recommended poetry for Neanderthals and oh Phase Ten, which oh both start with the letter P. So uh, you're we'll so call, good. You we'll call the know. games category pastime. So oh my God, you're the best. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, you ready for my last one? Um, wait, Jessica says, oh, I, Jessica, have some, hi. <laughs> I have some good word games for car rides, but they usually make my family try to disown me. <laughs> well, we do have we do have some word games, too, in the car, but not everybody always wants to play. Do you ever hear of the game Ghost? Yes. Yes. I Sometimes everybody will play. It's yeah. it, The object of the game is not to finish the word. And I, you know, I would say B and you would say R and then I would say O and then you don't want to end the word. So you wouldn't say W, you wouldn't say brow, you would say like T, which would for broth instead. So you try to keep going. So, but it's sometimes people get tired of that. You can't play that for eight hours, or at least in our family, we can't play it for eight All hours. Right. Well, one time we played a game in our family where we, we, we wanted to see how long we could go naming every single SpongeBob character we could think of. And it, it, it lasted a lot longer than you think because P, we P is for Patrick. Time. Well, we didn't, it wasn't, it would I know. Have, have anything to do with it, but, but P, yes, the P, P, yes, P, yes, yes, yes. excellent, <laughs> excellent. Um, yeah, we got down to like the nitty gritty tiny characters that you see like once in a blue That, moon. that is very, uh, very special, and specialized. You know how highbrow we are. Okay, so my final P on this list is um, playlists. Mm. This is something they could do to help prepare, another P word, for the car ride, which is you could ask them to create a playlist of road music and everybody gets a turn being the car DJ. And another thing you can do is you can rotate spots in the car. So whoever's in the shotgun spot is the car DJ because getting a different view every once in a while in the car is also good. And especially if you've got kids who tend to car sickness, which we do. So everybody likes to have a chance to get out of the back seat into the front. Sometimes you end up like, you know, you can be silly with your kid in the back seat because all of a sudden you're the kid mm -hmm. and the grown-ups are in the front. So you can you can poke them for a change. 
Um, but it's fun because then everybody gets a shot at the playlist. They can put a few things in there. It could be silly. It could be things that you're trying to broaden other people's horizons. And everybody only gets one veto of a song so that okay. it doesn't get too out of control. You, everybody gets one, but only one. You can say, I cannot listen to this song. Please skip. <laughs> and then that was your one veto. I love this idea because I actually, my kids, um, especially my teenagers, love to make playlists. They, they're they really into music. And they're so it, good at it. I yeah. I'm, I'm birthday, like, I asked for a new playlist. For oh, okay. Music. My mm -hmm. taste is old and tired. They're like, what song do you want, Mom? I don't know. Like. I, I don't know. Well, so kind of maybe it would have been cool. They're like, here's what, here's what you, it's, it's a challenge for them because they got to find something that they think you would like, mm -hmm. but maybe you haven't heard yet. So it's, it helps them think of somebody else. Yeah. Nice to do too. Jen, do you, do you have your teenagers drive when you're in the, when you're on a road trip? Yeah, we have started doing that. And that is good too, because it actually alleviates some boredom for them. You know, when they get to get behind the wheel for a little bit, um, it may not always be your favorite thing as the parent is to cede that control. It is a challenging thing. Um, but it's, you know, start with short bits. And you have to, if you know the route, you know where it's the least, like you're not going to have them drive through downtown Chicago rush hour traffic. Yes. That's just not, you know, that is, that's not going to be a good time for anybody. But Indiana is, there's really not going, nothing going on in, on the interstate in Indiana. So it's like you could come. Pennsylvania. Like, yes. Pennsylvania, a lot of elk maybe that's out there. You might be going not past. even. Not even, right. Depends on which, which route you're taking. Uh, I will say that the PA Turnpike gives me some fits and starts, but and 80. That it's too narrow and windy, but uh, 80 is very broad and yes. and comfortable. It's like, you know, a couch versus sitting on a hard chair, which is Pennsylvania exactly. Turnpike. So did we get to your list items or do you have a last one? Pretty much. I, I just um, the one thing other thing is that my kids have been packing for, for themselves for quite a while. And I would pee. Packing. What? Ah, pee. Packing. Packing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so silly. Um, but. Yeah, so they've been packing for a long time with with varied results. We have forgotten <laughs> items in the past. Your results may vary. <laughs> but I mean, by the time they're teenagers, they should definitely be yeah. packing for themselves. But sometimes, not really my oldest, but the other two will ask for a checklist. Mom, give me a checklist. And I will go through what I can remember. Oh, did you did you pack pajamas? Papa pa, pa, pajamas. Um, or whatever. Did you pack your toothbrush? Did you pack a hairbrush? Whatever. And now at this point, I think it is helpful because once in a while they'll forget something. But at this point, they're like, mom, you didn't ask me about my contacts or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh, yes, your contacts. So I, I think it's just a nice way to to give them responsibility. And uh, but also, you know, double check so no one forgets their underwear, I guess. I guess that's another fun game you can play in the car, too, is. Who forgot something? Uh, <laughs> it, has, it has often been me. There's always something you've forgotten, but you know what? Here's the secret is that it gives you a reason as a family to go off to Walgreens for a little bit. Wherever you're going, there's always a Walgreens or a CVS. If you need to like, you know, disengage for a little bit from the overwhelm of the family get together, yeah. you can say, so-and-so forgot such and such. We're going to take a quick trip over to the Walgreens and anybody yeah. else need anything? <clears throat> It gives you a reason to get off the reservation. So there's always a bright side, right? Yes. Oh, that's great. Well, happy travels, everybody. You know, wherever yeah. you're going, or if you're even if you're just staying home, if there's anything that we've given you that can help make this a more um, enjoyable holiday, we hope so. And yeah, and if you're great. hosting, don't be insulted if people bring their own pillows. I will. Yeah, right. I would be, I'd be thrilled because I feel like every time I have people coming to stay, I look in my closet where all the extra um, pillows and blankets are. And I and I make that last minute run to Bed Bath & Beyond to get new pillows because I look at the ones I have and I'm like, yeah. these are awful. I can't do it. So there's a, the re there's a reason why they live in the closet. Right? Exactly. If it's in the closet, it's been rejected thoroughly by everybody. <laughs> and so it's a terrible pillow. That's why you should bring your own because this is true at everybody's house. That's true. So do everybody a favor, bring your own pillow. Got it. All right. Well, that's thanks for joining us today. As always, you can add your comments at any time and we'll see them later.
And right. well, oh wait, next week we won't be here. We're off. And then the week after, I won't be here, but we'll we'll let you know whether we're gonna have a special guest. Yes, we'll 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 duke it out. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye now. Bye.